Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Today I get to share a project with you for Newton's Nook Designs. We're using one of the brand new release items this month. It's called Hair Mail. It is a small 2x3 stamp set, um, but it's so cute. It has a little bunny inside an envelope and then it has a postage little mark that you can add as a little accent piece. It does have a sentiment that says Hair Mail. And so we're gonna make a fun just because card. We're going to do a little bit of coloring. Um, you don't have to do much, um, but I do want some bright colored envelopes. So I'll stamp this little guy twice on some alcohol marker friendly cardstock and I'll zoom in, play a little bit of music while I color in my images. And when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. Next, I'm going to use my scissors and fussy cut each one of my images out. Now there, I, there are coordinating dies with this little set, um, so the price point on it is fabulous. I just don't have the dies with me, so I'm going to use my scissors. It's pretty, pretty easy to fussy cut. Um, but my buddies are ready to go, and now we're going to work on our background panel. Aren't they so sweet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use the Frameworks die set. There is a postage edge on the largest die in the set, and I think it goes perfect with my hair mail. So we'll die cut that out with white cardstock, and then I'm also going to bring in a tag die set. This is the Fancy Edges tag die set. Um, we're going to go ahead and place that down there. Now on the tag die set, there's lots of little edges that you can add it. Um, I'm taking the largest kind of like a cloudy scallop. Um, I'll die cut out one solid white tag and then one tag where I'll use the scallop edge and then create a tag topper with that. So once those are die cut, we're going to bring in some pattern papers today. I've been on a pattern paper craze. And so um, I have lots of older paper pads, guys. Um, I probably can't link to them because they're probably no longer available. So I can encourage you to go through your paper pad stash and find some rainbow print. Um, I do want to create a panel for my postage edge panel that will fit inside of the stitch detail on there. So I'm just marking it off with my pencil. I'll take my paper trimmer and trim it down. So I do want to see those stitch lines. I think stitch detail is really nice on cards. It just adds another layer of um, of design to your projects. So that's ready to go. Now for my tag, we're going to use this pattern paper. It has little sentiments on there. Um, they kind of go with the hair mail. It says, um, you make, um, you are my sunshine. You make me happy. <laughs> that's what the little saying says. I'm going to trim down a small rectangle. I don't need to go all the way to the top because we're going to cover it with a white tag topper here. I'm going to use my tape runner and we'll adhere this to our white tag just lining up the edges here. And I'm gonna use the bottom part of my um, 
I have the top white tag topper. We're going to use the bottom part of the tag too uh, to kind of extend our um, our tag. That's the nice thing about these is you can make them as long as, or as short as you want them. Once my tag topper is adhered, love the way this looks, <laughs> I'm going to adhere um, my pattern paper to my background panel. Just making sure it's centered. You can see those stitched lines. I'm going to flip this over and bring in some fun foam. The fun foam that I use is adhesive backed, so I just have to add adhesive to one side. Just going to trim it, just trim down a piece that will fit behind there. I'll remove the release paper and we'll add this to our, our card base, which is a standard A2 size card base. It's four and a quarter inches by five and a half. And I love that little rainbow print. In the rainbow print, there are some grays and black. So that's why the tag, I think, is going to look really great with it. Okay, to extend my tag, um, I'm going to bring it down about a half of an inch. I'm just going to add adhesive to the bottom portion here, line it up on this tag, and now we have a place to stamp our sentiment. I do have a little bit overhanging, so I'm going to take my scissors and trim that off. And I think that's going to be perfect. Okay, next up we have the little postage mark. Um, before we do stamping with that, I am going to bring in a gray brad. Um, with my tags, I have lots of brags. Um, I guess I am going to stamp it first. Sorry. <laughs> uh, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do before I do it. <laughs> but I'm going to add one to the top here so it's kind of hanging off the edge. Before we stamp the bottom one, I'll stamp the sentiment in that white area that says hair mail. We're going to stamp it a little bit towards the right. This way I can stamp another tag on, um, a, not really a tag, another uh, postage image here right next to it. Now that we're good to go. Now here's where I bring in my little gray brag. I'm just, Brad, I'm going to use my crocodile just to cure that on the top. This part you can skip actually in the fancy edges tag die set. There are reinforcers that you could use if you don't have brads, which is really nice. I'm going to thread my tag with some black twine, just loop it through, and then I'll flip my tag over and we're going to add another piece of fun foam behind here. This is going to be popped up and we're going to offset it to the left of our card. Once that's is secure to our card base, I'm going to go ahead and tie the bow. I always say this, sometimes it's easier for me to tie my bows when, my, my, when it's secured on my card base. Just makes for a nicer bow, my opinion. <laughs> okay. Now we are going to go ahead and flip over our little uh, bunny envelopes. I'm going to add foam adhesive behind each one of these and we're going to kind of crush cross them together and hang them over on the right side of the tag, kind of balancing it in the center. So everything kind of centered. For finishing touches, I'm going to bring in some gems. We're going to add three just above our little bunnies and then two to the right below them. And then that finishes my card project today, guys. I hope you do get a chance to check out the brand new uh, Newton's Nook Designs release. It is super fun. A lot of spring themed elements that will be perfect for spring and Easter. Um, and I encourage you guys to visit the Newton's Nook Designs blog too. There's lots of inspiration over there. Have a fabulous day. Thanks for joining me. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.